Okay guys, so welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today we're going to do our weekly um, walk around the garden and um, see what's out there. I want to show you, I just picked, and that's what reminded me, Helen. This is Helen. I just picked Helen, the zucchini. <laughs> this is a Romanesca zucchini and these are Franke seeds. So um, we just got back from our walk. I walked Shotzi a mile and Ragnar about three I think three and a half. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. So if you guys want to stay along for a garden vlog, go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera around so you got plenty of visuals. <laughs> okay, so we are starting our weekly garden vlog. And as you saw, I picked that zucchini. And look at all this, how beautiful. It's just thriving over here. I've picked a couple of tomatoes off of this early girl. And there's some more, a little more flowering going on. <clears throat> this one down here has got some good sized tomatoes as well. Look at how that rhubarb is just, that's the one that was all bare root. And then I had to rebuy, but I bought a plant. And so the root had already been established for a little bit. I think they do better because I had to buy two more. And, um, when I bought this, I bought three bare root and only one of them made it. So I think your chances are better if you find them in a little one gallon pot, pick them up. Okay, so patio tomatoes, they're all putting on some fruit. You can see that. And let's see, I need to pick a rosemary and dry that. Um, I don't want to lose that rosemary. It's just so delicious. Oh, and I've got green beans. Check this out, you guys. I'm ready for for picking some green beans. Oh yeah, these are perfect. Too bad there's not enough for a meal. <laughs> I might leave them on a couple more days. So that plant's doing really good right there. And then this is edible, but but not not with my flowers. So get rid of that. Anyways. I love the alyssum. It's so pretty. So I'm, I'm debating whether to make you guys a tomato pie, because I know a lot of you wanted that recipe, or to um, make salsa, because I really want salsa. Although my tomatillos aren't ready. They're filling their little husks, so yeah. Um, carrots. I thinned out carrots. We had a few carrots yesterday. And maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do a side dish with some carrots and if the few green beans that I do have. Um, okay, so we got a ton of mint here too. Um, it's going to seed. I need to deadhead this. Um, I need to pick this as well. You can dehydrate the mint and add it into your tea in the wintertime. And it's delicious. I love, or, you know, like right now, put it in your lemonade. Mint lemonade is fantastic. Oh, Michael's got his hunting stuff all air drying. And so in here, I certainly need to weed, but I'm certainly not doing it today. We've got to get in the travel trailer and do some work. Okay, so that tomato, I'm going to leave it on about one more day. I like to pick them when they're right past that stage because then the birds don't get at them. Here's one over here I'll get. This one, it's, well, half of it's, half of it's red and half of it's not. <laughs> but it'll still be delicious. Kind of deformed little guy. Um, most of these in here are early girls. So they do pretty well. And I'm going to tell you, there's my sad story for pumpkin. Gone. I don't know what got to it. This is, that was a yellow crook neck. Didn't do squat. That one, gone. Zucchinis, though, are coming right along. So we're probably going to end up with more zucchini than we know what to do with. If I make a tomato pie, I really want to pick the um, a couple squash blossoms. But I don't really have enough. You need to pick the male flowers. And the male flowers, this is a male right there. As you can see, it's just got the stem behind it. There's no baby zucchini. So, on here, there's none yet. This plant's still pretty little. Um, but, see, this is a female flower. 
be behind the flower bud is a zucchini. So this plant, that's where I picked, right there is where I picked Helen. And I cut them off with nippers. So, um, yep, we got some fruit coming along on these. This tomatillo's doing good. It's not, um, got a whole bunch of little lanterns yet, but it'll catch up. This zucchini has got, um, it's just starting, so those are male flowers on there so far. All right, so let's go see what else we have. And I keep my plants trimmed back, as you can see. I keep them trimmed up off the ground um, as much as possible. Some of these are determinants, and it's hard to do on a determinant. On the indeterminate, it's pretty easy to do. I don't mind if they produce su suckers because the suckers make new tomatoes. So that's that. Okay, so Michael is taking the dogs for a walk. So they had to get dunked beforehand. Shotzi cannot go because she's pregnant and she already had her walk. I'm sorry. No, Shotzi do. She's going to whine about it. Uh, uh, no. Hey. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay. I'm sorry, Shotzi do. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't go. Okay, so I wanted to check and see if I have any green beans over here. <sighs> Not yet. We're, we're vining here still and flowering. You can see little flowers going so soon. And these potatoes, I came in here and mulched with that um, easy straw. <sighs> I mulched down all around the potatoes because they kind of will try to push up out of the ground and you, you don't want them exposed to sunlight. So this is a sausage tomato right there. These are for um, sauces and paste. And she's losing her mind. What are you doing up on the doghouse? Shotsy do. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so the apples, look how big some of these apples are. Hopefully we get a few. But like this one, that one, uh, the worms already got to it. And that is because I didn't spray with the um, Captain Jack's organic spray early enough. There's another little Roma. I could probably pick those tomorrow too. And these tomato plants, I mulched around them, but you see I get all those bottom stems off, leaves. Get them off. Okay, we've got tomatoes in here to pick. I have plenty of stuff for a tomato pie. You guys, tomato pie is amazing. I think I'm going to have to make it for you. Okay, so these tomatillos, look at this. I can't, I can't even tell you. That's two plants. I can't even get it all in the camera. <laughs> it's crazy talk. It's huge, 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 huge. And then back here is where I got to get in there and get tomatoes out of there. Um, but I've got peppers. Look at the peppers. These are the, these will turn red. These are a, the Italian, um, red peppers. So I'm excited. Look at all the tomatillos. And they're little husks, but they're husks. You see, they're kind of, you feel in there. They're in there always. I apologize for Miss Doozer. <gasps> Look at these tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Get to pick. Oh yeah, this plant is huge. It's leaning over the fence. I see. Okay, so I got those. I think that's it. Oh my gosh, it's a jungle. Look at this. It's crazy how this spills in. Look at these beautiful clusters of tomatoes in here, though. This one is gorgeous. This is a celebrity. There's. I think that's the majority of what's in this patch of tomatoes. I get the early girls, so I get early tomatoes, but then I love the celebrities. And don't be afraid to mulch with your grass clippings. Um, I have pretty good success with it. This bed gets dried out pretty good. But you can see I, I have two asparagus, one there 
and one over there and green beans and carrots I planted three big packages of carrot seeds in here very meticulous about where they went and no this is all I got I got the three tomato plants um, those I planted from seeds and those are aroma so I'm hoping I can extend the growing season on this bed if that makes sense and then celery 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 spinach for the birds because that's who eats it uh, Swiss chard for the birds because that's who gets it and as soon as I'm done with this video I am going to um, finish putting up the bird wire on my chicken coop or the bird netting because I am getting Tweety birds in there helping themselves to food Okay, so the chicken's kale and our salad kale uh, Swiss chards that's coming back. It's trying to you know renew itself um, This is these are onions and I'm watering the raspberries. I'll take you over there in a sec uh, cucumbers on this side and then this is a lemon cucumber and it's got flowers all over it so we should be getting some cucumbers here pretty quick again the male flowers will have no fruit behind them the female flowers will and okay so here's a look at the raspberry patch and I picked some already but there I see there's some more and we're on round two I mean the bees are really busy in here so all these top ones now will produce and look I don't know if you can see how busy we are with bees but yes bees everywhere and they're I mean they these raspberries attract all these pollinators and then they end up with the um, in the garden pollinating so my advice to you is plant raspberries because you'll get plenty of pollinators and they don't bother anybody else oh oh I see some and then you get some that have that sun scald on them I, I don't I guess because it's so hot the second round of berries don't tend to have it Shotzi no so here, let's get this she's trying to dig her way out might let her out but I'm not gonna okay and I'm gonna turn that water off this is that plum Santa Rosa plum tree so it all the trees are taking pretty well the only one that oops I see another berry the only one nice little handful of berries every morning so this is blackberries Okay, so, and these blackberries were planted at, this, at the same time, but this is the first year that they've produced. So, there you go. And I'm going to show you something. This is what happens when garlic goes to seed. This is the second year. Second or third year. So, we'll have garlic everywhere because <laughs> I can't get it all pulled. But I should try to get in here. It's just so thick. Ugh, look at this crazy and to think this all started with 10 bare root plants down this side and 10 bare root plants down that side four years ago and this is what it turns into there's more berries than we can eat um, I end up freezing about a two gallon bag of berries when it's all said and done and they're as tall as I am some of them are taller like right here these guys are taller than me but again look at all the buds and bees Bees are buzzing. I don't know if you can hear them all. Mmm. Yummy berries. Yum. And I just fertilize these. They, um, they like acid. So, I'm going to let Shotzi out because she's, she's kind of pathetic. She's sitting on top of the doghouse all pregnant. <laughs> are you sitting on there? Oh, mommy, you can't go. You already went for your walk, okay? Okay. And she knows how to work the gate to open it. She's like, where did they go? I'm not taking you. Aw, poor baby. 
She's gonna go see where they went. Poor thing. So there's an overview of what I got going on. I gotta go grab my tomatoes. Oh, and my, oh, I didn't do this side. I'll do this side now. This chard, the birds aren't getting to it, which is nice. Um, we should have uh, this in our salad tonight. And I've got some green beans here that need to go up the trellis. There we go. They're getting ready to flower. And I'm not sure what variety, but I think I'm going to plant some more beans because I think we have enough time to get um, more planted. These beans are all flowering now, so we should have green beans here pretty quick. This rhubarb is doing good. Something's eating the leaves, but it doesn't affect the rhubarb, so I'm not going to spray it with anything. And flowers. I gotta get out here and wash all the dog water. Ooh, I see a pepper. It's almost red enough to pick it. I love red peppers. And these are all patio tomatoes in these containers. They've all got fruit on them. And oh, look at the great or the green beans. Yay! And they're all the way to the top, as you can see, all the way up. And that's about six feet, I think. So, okay, that is the overview of the garden, and I love it. So let me go turn that water off, and I'll just say today, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and that uh, y'all have a blessed week. And I'm going to enjoy my yard and my garden this morning with a little bit of coffee. Bye!